up guys um, today we're going to be talking about OnlyFans and how it may not be a bad idea if you're looking for ways to make some money on the side. However, I do feel like with all shortcuts in life, it does come at a price. And today we're kind of going to be exploring all the potential problems that could come with people using the app as a primary source of income. And to start things off, I'd like to just share with you guys a bit of background information. Uh, the Only app itself came out in like in 2016, and at first it really wasn't meant for the sale and trade of explicit pictures. It was more or less meant for people who were like artists and musicians and uh, people who basically didn't have a conventional stream of income and they relied on other people who admired their work to pay them so that they can continue doing whatever it is they do. And the OnlyFans app was a platform to allow that to happen where you had an audience uh, who were able to pay their content creator so that their content creator can continue doing whatever it is they do. Now somewhere along the line, maybe like a year ago or two years ago, you had very much high profile celebrities and high profile people um, seeing an opportunity and they capitalized on that opportunity. They recognized that they had such a large following that they could make so much money if they made the decision to share with this following private photos in exchange for a monthly subscription and it worked. That's the crazy part. It worked. There was a small percentage of people who had a crazy, crazy success story. And that success story kind of inspired a whole group of other people to follow suit and do the same. And uh, today's video is just to share with you guys um, the problems that people could run into when deciding to you know, use the OnlyFans app as a means of income through the exchange of private photos. And the first point I want to start off with is that things can get very squirmy on the internet. What you put up, there is really no chance, a hundred percent chance that you can kind of take it off. Once you put something on the internet, it's very much out of your hands from there. It can kind of, you know, go wherever and anyone can see it. And just because you kind of post content on an app doesn't really mean it's gonna stop people from like screenshotting or using someone else's phone to take a picture of their phone. It's inevitable that there would be someone somewhere at some time taking you know that photo and kind of putting it out there for public view. And I think that that's kind of a dangerous idea when you think about the security and um, you know opportunity that your future has because you don't want something like that coming around and biting you in the butt. Um, it's just probably not worth it. My second point is that you have, I think people out there, there's the likely, there's a, there's a good chance that interest in someone when they're using the app for that purpose, there's a likelihood that the interest will drop off dramatically and that the amount of subscribers you may have at like maybe week two of starting your account may not be the same amount that you have nine months down the road because maybe after a while, people after seeing everything that you, um, you know, or maybe, yeah, maybe after seeing everything that that person decided to show them, they just kind of lost interest because like after seeing everything there is to see and, you know, no more mystery, there is kind of, for most people, I would assume no reason to stick around unless you're offering something of substance. And, you know, that can kind of be a downfall for most people because I think most people have an idea that whatever it is they're doing on OnlyFans is long term or it could last long term. Mm. The likelihood of that is is not that likely. And uh, some information I have to kind of back up that claim is that um, I have a psychologist here that I'm about to reference, and here it is. So the uh, we can take, for example, what happens when a relationship between two people is built on a foundation of lust. Lust alone isn't enough to sustain the relationship, and eventually the relationship itself becomes futile. Like certified life coach E.B. Johnson has stated, lust-filled relationships are fun and they can provide us with a boosted sense of confidence and connection. In order to make things last though, there's, those connections have to run more than just skin deep. And uh, that I feel is uh, the case between the subscriber and the content creator. There isn't really anything there that is of substance that could make the subscribers stay long-term. It just seems inevitable that you're going to have people falling off and losing their interest a lot quicker than you'd think. 
Third point and last point is that um, you have, let me see. There's a very narrow window of time. There's a very narrow window of time that someone has to do whatever it is they do. I mean, the age range is very specific. It's like from 18 to 35 that people have a chance of being successful. But even then, the likelihood of that happening is not that likely because of the following that those average people have. It's not like the massive following that these high profile celebrities have. So the amount of income isn't going to necessarily match, even though they go into it thinking that they can come out with as much money. But it's uh, it's a very small, narrow window, and I think that if you were to just maybe invest your time into something that could benefit you five years down the road, you know, I think that would be probably a smarter way of spending your time. But that's that's my video for today, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.